This broadcast will start in 15 seconds. This broadcast will start in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The Voice of Stockton. For more information on The Voice of Stockton, go to thevoiceofstockton.org. The views and opinions expressed in the following program do not necessarily reflect those of KXVS The Voice of Stockton or its parents, affiliates, management, and staff. I have this one, this wonderful guest, very unique. He's an entrepreneur, and uh, he's starting his business um, from scratch, isn't it? And I was like, wow, really yeah. impressed <laughs> by what he does and what his passion, what his pretty young for his age, for <laughs> what, what, what he looked. But anyway, okay. this his business um, <laughs> is called Roast Finch, and for those who don't know, um, I'm sure that. Um, Pedro will will <laughs> explain everything what's going on and what can it make a difference in our community and in and, and an organization that we represent that we always have events going on in locally and and in and, and county wide as well so I'm sure Pedro will have will have, will have answer for every uh, for us okay so mm -hmm. welcome welcome <laughs> to my show Pedro. thank you for having me on your show okay so tell me about what it's been I mean I'm, I know that you guys been Riding the bike all mm -hmm. around the, uh, Miracle Miles a lot. Yeah. So. <laughs> Edwards <laughs> actually had the, the fun of riding it around. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, Edward doing his job, you know, so mm -hmm. that's good. So, so basically, how did how, what was founded by who, who founded that? So, I founded Road Finch back in 2014. Mm -hmm. It was, um, I had just had an accident. It was something that I wanted to repair my car, so I was thinking of different businesses that I could put together, and um, I wanted something unique, something that nobody else was doing, and then I saw bicycle advertising, I thought, wow, that's something that could really come to the area, a lot of businesses can take advantage, because I see the ability of the, the human voice of interacting with people that you can really like advocate for a client a lot better than you could if you were... Uh, just paying for like a regular billboard or a TV commercial, um, that interactivity makes it so much more memorable at the mm -hmm. end of the day. So, so, so you, that that was your concept and idea that you started with, right? Mm -hmm. So, what would what was your motivation and factor once you got the idea to put into action? Mm -hmm. So, with Road Finch, it was more. Um, so we had moved into an office in downtown Stockton in uh, Huddle Cowork. It was um, their, their 1.0, and we were in that space. And for the first um, year, it was pretty much getting out to businesses and letting them know what we can do for them. We didn't get our first customer until, I think, five or s yeah, about five months in, we didn't get our first uh, paying customer because we were just developing the brand and, and really trying to show them what we can do with it. But... After that, it was something that other businesses started noticing, and they started giving us an opportunity to to advertise for them. And as we went on, we started interacting with businesses, like what we could do for them. Mm -hmm. And we also started seeing um, what, what they were lacking. There's a lot of businesses that when we started, we've seen them start, and then they go out of business, and other ones don't don't know exactly how to get out there and we want to help them out as much as possible with everything we're doing and then that's pretty much how we developed uh uh finch it it's a it's a search engine that is really designed to show people in stockton in the communities uh everything that they want to find with um <clears throat> with with it being more accurate than Google, it's because we're we're verifying all the information from the client. So you know that every single thing on there is going to be verified and it's going to be correct. We're uh, we're still building it. We'll be building it throughout the rest of this year. And um, as soon as it's completed, hopefully January, 100% complete, and we'll we'll continue our expanse across California. So. Well, that's good. <laughs> so are you are 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 you working with other um... Are you collaborating with other 
third party partnership mm-hmm. with to help you with your company and on online on website with like connection like yeah. if one if one tick type and you hit the search all all of a sudden Finch come up on your on a little search mode or whatever mm-hmm. is that what that's gonna be like yeah pretty much so with um with everything that we're doing with the engine right now we want to make sure that everyone in the city can find it. Um, we're utilizing our road finish bikes to, to advertise it in front of um, like big big events like Stockton Arena has like a Stockton Con. Right. We were there and we were handing out all the information about it. We were in the Pride Festival, um, different events, even the block party that happens with KXVS. Oh yeah, I thought that. I thought that. The, yeah. That you did a lot in the Pride the Pride Festival and uh, the Comic Con and everything. That's a, and that's good. Mm-hmm. You know that's awesome. And then plus that you. You had one of those air raid videos. Oh, yeah, yeah, the, my drone. Yeah, yeah no, your drone. <laughs> I, I don't know if it was illegal in stock. I'm surprised you had it on. I'm like, wow, yeah. this guy's going. No, there, there's certain spots. There's an app that I have that I just click, and I get authorization through the FAA really quick to be able to fly oh, it. So, yeah, it makes it it makes right. it legal instantly. Oh, well, so. that's good. I mean, <laughs> that's wonderful. I mean, that's something that, um, that this company pretty much like you say almost like what is it uh, so finch it is similar to yelp you can leave reviews um you can search for businesses um one of the big things that we want to make it is uh coupons that you can find on our platform for businesses and i know our coupons are not live yet but as soon as they go live You'll be able to get one dollar, two dollars off certain businesses. We're actually hoping to get you big deals, like hundred dollars off on an installation of something, or five hundred dollars. And then this is cash that we're working <coughs> with uh, with clients to try and um, really, really make it so that their business pops. And so, in other words, you're more, you're more like sponsoring them to see where you get the information up from. Like mm-hmm. if it's two dollars off to go to a, to go to a and on grand opening, like $2 off for a yeah. hamburger, it's a, it, We've, it, will, it will have, you know, kind of like, okay, there's, there's mm-hmm. a coupon right there on the app. Or you exactly. No, 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 no. It, everything you'll do from the app, you'll pretty much just uh, show the business, like, hey, I noticed you had a $2 off coupon on your door. They'll just click on the app and they'll hit redeem coupon just right With there. With the bar and everything. Yeah, right? exactly. So oh, they'll cool. never, the business owner doesn't have to worry about having the the the, the paperwork any, yeah any time. any of that stuff we do it all for them okay. and then we have different paid tiers that can accommodate their needs because everything we're doing like our we we offer all businesses they can be listed on our platform for free mm-hmm. and um, we have a lot of them already i think we have over 1200 listings on finchit right now in stockton so if you're looking for restaurants mechanics doctor's offices uh, take a look at our platform and see if you can find it I know it's a little uh, buggy right now, but we're updating all the information. So by mm. the end of this year, this platform will be hands down. And <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure because I know that a lot of like, like there's another one called Eventy, where mm. you mm-hmm. buy the ticket online or whatever. Yeah. I know there's a lot of non nonprofit that use those things. Like for, uh, I think, uh, the, the Stockton Chamber of Commerce, mm-hmm. they do that and... Um, that's something that that's another thing that you can use that tool to reserve ticket. You know, as far as even though it's, it's going to be free, it yeah. won't have to pay or charge nothing. It's just that who's coming, who's not coming, they'll <laughs> automatically go to their yeah. Realm. And ours will have something similar. Uh, we've taken a look at a lot of different websites. We see how they're built, and we we've. we've seen little problems here and there that we can improve upon it so we're we're putting all of that into our engine i know it's it's a lot of work uh, a lot sim of thing, huh? yeah sim our sim is our web designer he's been coding it night and day and uh he really does work extremely hard and we're we're looking forward to seeing the entire engine built something that he gets all the credit for that okay. and uh, the rest of the team we've been working really hard just to make sure that all the the info on the site's up to date uh, we have a lot of partnership deals about to start up, and it's good, something good. we're wow. we're about to blow up. Finch it <laughs> in the next uh, in the next couple of weeks. You're gonna see it all over the area. So. Wow! See, <laughs> I, 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 you know what? I did think that a lot of I think that's good that a lot of people who are starting up an entrepreneur think like that. You know, a new generation of millennium are using different kind of new app for themselves. Mm-hmm. They want to be kind of like not the norm but because all everything like 
uh, Yelp or things like that. They have bad experience, and some people have have kind of like or have bad review and have bad experience. And they can't re remove it because somebody um, out of hostility, you know, yeah. in front of that. So, do you verify that in, in that kind of thing? Yeah, we we verify all the the information that's listed on it to make sure that it's accurate. If there's something like a business is not in business, we'll be able to remove them from the platform. Mm -hmm. Um, and since we contact all of our businesses regularly, we can make sure that if any of their hours change, we can update that and um, make it so that you as a user or anyone that's using Finchit will never have like inaccurate results. Okay, so now let me ask you this question. For people that I'm more like advocating for people with disability and organ nonprofit organization um, mm -hmm. uh, or in a disabled organization, um, what what do they how would they benefit at, with that with your with Finches? There's a so a couple of the things we're building into it right now. It's multilingual, so well not yet, but it will be. So Spanish, different languages, you'll be able to use. And one of the things we want to make sure is that um, people that have any handicap that they need to see maybe larger font, um, we'll include a couple of buttons on the site itself that'll make it easier mm -hmm. uh, for for people for anyone to be able to use it, whether it's converting black and white images or something that makes it um wow, uh, it, yeah so 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 okay now and both of but now for the service when they want to look for like let's say a, a caregiver mm -hmm. are, are you gonna have the list of information on i mean not information list of server organization that provides Mm -hmm. caregiver yeah with uh, uh they're free do they have to they have to pay like, no an we want to no, we, we, we want to provide free services to all nonprofits, listing what they do and what they're providing to the community and we want to give uh links so this way if people were looking for maybe a, a transportation uh from one location medical transportation we'll be able to list their phone numbers and and put that out there so people can find it we don't want to we don't want to charge people because then we know that they won't put themselves on our platform we want right. to give everything away for free um and we know that there's services that we can provide that are paid that we can help them out even more so right now we're not interested in making money on the platform we're more interested in providing a service that's valued that the community will use on a daily basis so let me ask you this, the people that, okay, now let me change the nickname, I'm going to mm -hmm. play devil's advocate, okay? <laughs> yeah. for, for, for people who, that benefit, so I think which, which the good thing that you're doing for, for, for free. Mm -hmm. Now, for people who want to sponsor your finching, I know that I don't want to get into the technical area, yeah, yeah. I'm telling you <laughs> not to go in there, but, but I'm talking about more like promoting their advertisement for your finching and everything. So mm -hmm. you gotta you gotta have some kind of uh, equipment to mm -hmm. update your your development, yeah. your your staff. They're doing volunteer, which is good, but you have to buy get some something oh, to no. eat once in a while. We you know we, I mean? <laughs> we know how this will make money. Yeah. It's um Definitely, we're not we're not not gonna or we're not doing it just for free. All of it, no. There's there's paid tiers on there. The first one starts at nine ninety nine a month for a business owner, uh -huh. and with that, we give them a whole bunch more uh, flexibility to be able to communicate with their customers, to be able to put out ads, coupons, and then it makes them more easier to be found on our platform. And in the next tier is fifty nine. The highest one we have is one hundred and twenty five. For once a month. For once a month. Okay. So now, it's something okay. low enough that it doesn't hurt the business. Okay, but. so it's 99, that's the load that you have for uh, people that, yeah. okay, let's say, um, let's say a mom and pop store, like mm -hmm. let's say there's a coffee shop on um, your, your 70, I, I think it's a 70, it's a coffee shop called the... Uh, Red? No, wait, yeah, you have somebody, I don't know any coffee shops. I know of Terra, Trail, Reds, Black, uh, I think it's Impressa. Blackwater. Blackwater, oh, okay, yeah. I know of Blackwater. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, let's say they want to use want to use your fence and their and their they're just starting their business and they're, mm -hmm. they're, they're you know they have to do their budget. So you think ninety nine dollars a month is efficient for them to start Not out? Not for them. For them, I'd recommend a nine ninety nine a month because we pack so, so it's much. Nine ninety nine, so it's ten dollars. Yeah, ten dollars a month. That okay. you probably pay when more you for say Netflix. Oh. Like, 
back of my mind, I'm like, what, $199? Oh, no, 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 no. We, we have more expensive uh-huh. tiers that offer more, but for nine ninety nine a month, uh-huh. you pay more to Pandora or to Netflix right. than you will I to agree us. With that. Yeah, that's so cool. it's something that for that little bit of money, we give you a lot more flexibility for your business. And that's, okay. that's why we want to make sure that we're we're extremely effective and we can provide them services. Maybe if later on down the road they need a website, mm-hmm. then um, we can sell them through Roadfinch and let them know that we have great websites to offer them at low prices. So everything we're trying to do is we want to build up business and we understand that some businesses are really, really tight on funds. Right. So we, we want to offer different tiers so that they can, and even if they wanted to be on it for free, we still want to give them the most powerful search engine that we're I building. totally agree with so, your saying. Yeah. I, I think it's pretty much, I like the way you're saying it because it's really good for business to find, customer to find our, our business because, you know, it's a lot of, it's really, it's really costly. I mean, it's really a costly yeah. thing to go into marketing business because they, sometimes they, you know, in real estate, I know they cost a hundred dollars, they cost seventy five dollars, <laughs> they cost fifty dollars, but it's sometimes the most, you know, if you get, a, if you go to an event, they cost money, and you got, you know, it, mm-hmm. too many things. But as far as the kind of, what do you, what you in fact, do people like? Well, do selfie and take a day. Oh, I was here. Oh, like, yeah. Like, I take a picture. Like, I'm here. Or lie, mm-hmm. I'm here. You know? We um. So right now, people are able to check in with Finchit on their Facebook. So you oh, can okay. actually say you're in a location. Oh, so. you have Finchit on Facebook? Yeah, Finchit's on Facebook. Well, oh. uh, you can type in Finchit.com, and you can actually from the app you can check in on Facebook. So if we already have Facebook and it's well, wow. not Instagram, but Facebook okay. tied in. So you're kind of you're kind of uh, like integrating with yeah it. we're uh, we're integrating a lot of things um before long we hope to get some other uh larger companies integrated in that we have and it's something that again we have stuff on on our plate that we want to put in it that'll give the users everyone that uses it so much functionality we want them to stay on finch it yeah i, so I, I we, totally agree we... <laughs> that if you're gonna i i believe that if you have what i want as a business person that i i I want customer service, mm-hmm. and if I don't get it, I get pissed off. Yeah. Like, you know, why am, I, why, am, why am I paying this amount of money, and yet I'm not getting technical thing and problem? <laughs> but yet, let's say, let's say uh, I accidentally post something that was the wrong date, mm-hmm. and or, or I did I, I type in something that I made a mistake. Like say I was now with a notary. Mm. And now I, I want to change it to my business to realtor working for Majestic, Majestic Property Management. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, it got deleted, but but it 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 connected to my house. I'm like, no, I don't. It's not my house. <laughs> you know, it's it, it, yeah. it's at the business, but it's not the house. I have my I have my business home business at home when I do my notary. Mm-hmm. But when I delete that, when I delete that title and I put realtor the video from my to five minute, it automatic. Mm-hmm. I and I I change it as much as I can, and I, I hit okay, and it you know it saved it. Mm-hmm. But it, it shows my that mm. the justice part of my Diablo. I'm like no, yeah. So I can I cannot <laughs> undo it. So I ha, I have to, I went to I went back to, again and tried again. It won't let me. It's on pending thing, and then it mm-hmm. kind of pissed me off. I'm like what am I doing? I can't call. Google because I don't know they don't give the number you have to email yeah. it to them I don't know they don't have their email so <laughs> I don't know so it's a little frustration on it so if so do you do you call them like 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 um, Yelp does like oh we want to help you yeah. find your thing do you so do that? with us we do call every single listing on our platform but we're not calling to to try and sell them service what we're doing at first is we're calling and we're just uh, letting them know that we want to update our search engine, give them all the information. We want to help them out first, and then at the end of it, we'll we'll let them know, like, hey, we have a couple of paid tiers that might be able to work with what it is that you're doing. Mm-hmm. Um, one of the big things is if you ever have an issue with your site and you're paying or you're even listed for free, you'll be able to contact us whether you do it on a live chat on our website or um, you do it just by calling our, our number. You're always going to get through to a person and we want to make sure that we always have that person there. Okay. Never never a machine you have to talk to. We want it that that's what I hope to accomplish is that 
everyone you call in, you'll get immediately to a person. There is no no machine, and it's because we want to update all your info and make sure it's accurate. And, well, I, I'm sure you have. A, I'm going to yeah. business well, from nine to five. Okay, granted, you have to you have to go home. Mm. And, and uh, we we okay. we'll do it late into the night. I'd imagine even there's people businesses that are open late at night, like bars. Some of them yeah, open true, at ten. Yeah. So. We want to make sure that we always have a staff member on hand that can be able to respond. If maybe uh, someone's asking, what's a good steakhouse? We can give them a good couple of recommendations. And the same for the business owner. Let's say that they had a live band that canceled and it's already after seven or eight o'clock. We can immediately make those changes for them. Oh, really? Yeah. So we'll make sure that we're always very very adaptable it depends on the tier that they're paying for too for for those updates so, but, well, so how yeah. much tier so it's 99 a month and uh, so, then the next level what uh, is so it's like a, a standard a yeah over, and, and they're all they're all listed on our website on the okay. business packages but the first one is 9.99 the next one is 59 dollars a month uh, and the the next tier is 99 dollars a month our highest tier that we have, which is um, we just rolled out, that one's 125 a month, and that one offers all, so much uh, interactivity. With that one, we're giving away free marketing videos uh, for any business. I actually just shot one at a Mexican restaurant yesterday. Same really? day, yeah, same day turnaround. So if you're a business owner out there and you want to be listed on our platform, uh, like I said, our top tier, we're giving away free okay, videos. Okay, before, before so. you go any further, <laughs> for people who might not know what platform mean, what do oh, you mean um, by uh, platform? Because a lot, you know, I mean, a lot of business owners don't want to get all the type yeah. of... Uh, it, it's our search engine. Pretty much we'd be okay. listing them on it. So So it's more like a search engine mm-hmm. with a video marketing technology? Uh, well, going to have a drone flying on their marketing page? No, 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 no. <laughs> so like the videos that we make for them uh, are regular commercials talking about their business. Okay. Uh, we put it on all of our social media so people could find it, but we also give it to them so that they could... Um, now have a professionally made video that could show people in the community what their business is like. And then uh, at the end of it, we just let them know that, hey, you can find this location on our platform. So um, these videos are under 59 seconds long, so you can place it on Instagram. Uh, Businesses have more than enough leeway if they want to pay for advertising on that on Facebook for the video. They're more than welcome to. So, So, okay, now... So okay, well that's good. Yeah. So <laughs> now for, for for the business for the for the nonprofit and the business owner, they both have the same uh, quality. Uh, what do you call it? The same type of service regarding what their what their needs at because like nonprofit like to go to the free stuff, mm-hmm. and then the business wants to go to where they're gonna get the most exposure for their business for their but. Yeah, bucks, we okay. we have different plans that tailor to everybody. So this way, and like I said, nonprofits, that's something that um, we want to be able to list for free. If they need extra exposure and they want to pay for additional advertising, then we offer that as well. Okay. So, yeah, we want to hear that guy, yeah. folks. I mean, I think that's I think that to me, that's a good that's a good that's a good thing that they need to know about that. Because, mm-hmm. you know, I you know, I always like to give give new business a try, you know, as far as exposure concerned, but more or less an entrepreneur going and getting to the business and, and hopefully they establish more business worker for mm-hmm. people, you know what I mean? I know yeah. you have, I see you have, a lot, you have your crew up here. <laughs> yeah. um, we, and we've raided the place for the day, so yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> but it, but it's, it's interesting how they work in there, because they're, they're, they're more dedicated. I think this guy doing his work on the video and next one doing another video. Mm-hmm. I don't know what the hell they're doing. <laughs> Everyone's doing their own thing. So yeah, yeah, and you're just kind of like waiting, to thinking like, oh, what about this? Oh, what about this? <laughs> you know, like a, like yeah. a CEO, right? No, uh, I don't have that title yet, but one day I will. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> right. well, well, that's good to know because a lot of people, I mean, I think that could, I've I seen all over, i seen your logo your, your mm-hmm. all over the place. Awesome, that's and, great to hear. <laughs> so, and then I, I'm really kind of like, and I asked uh, Edward, mm. who this who this guy coming around? I don't know what he <laughs> does, but, but I, it, with the way it fits, it kind of, it's kind of interesting, you mm. know how you know. But when he told me about he he worked for you, I'm like, mm-hmm. you do? He said, yeah, I do. I work for him. I'm like, oh, okay. Did yeah. he, the, I know you're always hungry, but uh, have you paid you yet? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. And he's like, oh no, no, that's no 
okay, he did, he did, he promised me. I'm like, no worry, Dad. Okay, I understand. Yeah, boot, okay. bootstrapping a startup is fun. I know there's a lot of people that have given a lot of extra time on what we're oh, doing, but uh, you know, you it's know something what? that... I, I, that's yeah. one thing I, I really admire people that, that they believe in this platform. The, mm. the, the people that work in Fang, they, 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 they believe in that, that we're going to help promote the community, <laughs> help, help promote uh, um, their... What do you call it? The resume, where they're gonna help. You know, they, hey, look, I started this. Okay, yeah. that's gonna bring a lot of things for them. You know. Well, yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, I hope that what we're building is something that's beneficial to everybody. It would suck that we just build it and it doesn't have people using it. That would be, it would suck. But like I said, at the end of the day, I want to make sure that we're providing a service that's valued in that. It really comes down to like what we value, and that's unforgettable results so we hope we're so providing for excellent it. service right? yeah for excellent service perfect so. <laughs> well well i mean pedro i think that you did a, you did a, i think that it's a, it's a great uh a great uh, project i believe that i do believe that you know it, you're gonna make it happen because the way you the way you your passion the way you talk is the way you <laughs> want you want to really well, thank you <laughs> you really want to build that up to get that recognition mm -hmm. can i ask you a personal question yeah so as far as what is, what is your education as far as mm. uh, uh, having this type of uh, so my I originally went to the Academy of Art for interior architecture. I wanted to be an architect. Uh -huh. So uh, designing has always been my passion, building stuff from the ground up. And uh, the reason I wanted to be an architect was to build large skyscrapers that one day uh, would have a plaque with my name on the side of it saying that I built it. Oh, so okay. yeah, so I figured I wasn't able to, to follow that route in my life. I went a couple different paths and everything has helped me with this business putting it together i find a lot of times i'm having to self-teach myself some things but mm -hmm. um and it's good i yeah. mean it, it, like i have seen a lot of people that go to school and they major i have a friend that ma was majoring teacher mm -hmm. and all of a sudden he went and all of a sudden he got a degree and everything and all of a sudden he, he don't he, he don't want to do it yeah he you know and i have a lot of people like who want to become a lawyer but yet they don't. They, they put a lot of money into it, and yeah, they they are they're working in, in some other field. Mm -hmm. So it it's very common, you know yeah. what I mean, as far as that concern. But you you gotta have something that you get. You need to have something that you're gonna like. Mm -hmm. I I Love feel it. that I haven't worked a day in the past four years since I've started this. I felt that it's it's been a nice adventure to do everything that we're doing. Mm -hmm. um, if if for for me giving any advice if you're out there and you ever have an idea that you want to pursue just do it and you'll find that as you start figuring out things write down notes put everything on a piece of papers mm -hmm. and and keep that and eventually you'll look back and you'll find that you'll start piling up little bits of notes here and there and they could oh my god that's a good advice that, yeah that's, because helps a lot of you start I, yeah i mean that's good that's a good idea because a lot of people have ideas and they're popping around like, mm -hmm. i should have thought of that write know? it down always write it down okay so <laughs> they have to come they didn't come to you and you kind of mark like well, this. well, no, this is if anyone has their own idea for a business they want to start up. Um, that's just advice. That's that's how I started. Okay, it was, got it. It was just little bit and pieces every single day. No business is immediately like started like that. It, it's a growing pains and it takes time. So but, did you, did you, I mean, actually, did you think you went into the fine art? Did you, were you an artist? Uh, I knew how to draw a bit. I probably knew how to do more architectural drawings it, yeah the lo logo is that, is, is that logo with your logo mm -hmm. design? yeah I, I drew it on uh on just a piece of paper i have the original sketch art for that still <laughs> so which one so both of them are the same right uh yeah actually the bird that's in the center is the same uh image the icon that we'll use uh for okay. all our different so, blends or so, brands not blends <laughs> Wow. Yeah. So. So you so you did most of the work. Yeah. All the, the art and everything going on right now in the back it said, restaurant, entertainment, shopping, event, you find use us to find everything in, in the area, local talent, live music, service, help and activity. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> those like there are there when, are, when you go to their website when you go to their website they're gonna be punching mm -hmm. their. Uh, 
excuse me, the, the button yeah. where I want to go? Yeah, so we made it really easy. You guys just click what it is that you're looking for. You can either type in the exact name and it'll show you a result. But if you're maybe uncertain, it's a Friday night and you're trying to figure out what to do, uh, you can click through our site and hopefully find exactly what you're looking for. Okay, so now let me ask you this one. So mm -hmm. you said you, 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 you said right here in your car, I just said right here. Yeah. <laughs> more accurate than Google. Mm -hmm. Can you match it? <laughs> more accurate than Google? You gonna? Oh my God. That's yeah, a, that that's a that's a big statement we're making and we're backing it up with what we're doing. So. Perfect. Okay, and it said more powerful than Yelp. Can you back that up? Oh, yeah. We can back that up, hands down. So. Okay. So Sorry, Yelp. Have Yelp <laughs> haven't got to you and say, hey, we want to buy you? Oh, no. We, uh, we're probably at least a year away before we pop up on the radar of a lot of big businesses. But if they ever came to us and made an offer, um, we could consider it. <laughs> okay, Personally, well, I'd rather not and keep the company and grow it. So, but but you, but you, can, but you have other projects too. You might, you well, know. Roadfinch, we we still have Roadfinch, which is our bicycle advertising company. We want to expand that throughout the U.S. as well. Oh, that's another so, thing. What is yeah. that? Okay, so now you're doing Finches online. Yeah. So what is Road? What is so Road, Ro Road Finch is the actual advertising agency. So we do marketing. Uh, videos, photography, graphic arts, uh, content writing, social media management, a lot of different things that help businesses on their day to day. Mm -hmm. So they could be looking for maybe an artist to design uh, new brochures for them. And we, we do that. Um, or maybe they're looking for uh, an advertising campaign. Uh, we can offer them different things, whether they decide to use our bikes inside of an event like Stockton Con or the Pride Festival. And um, yeah, it just comes down to whatever it is that they need. We we offer it website design. Uh, we do that too, and it's something that um, everything that we offer a business when we tell them about Finchit.com, if they ever need anything, we want to let them know that since we're hopefully providing them a great service, they can see that it's sort of an inkling of what our other uh, platform or service Roadfinch can do. So you're you're, you're like a, you're an appetite you're an appetite mm -hmm. for the market. So let me ask you this. Have ever, has anybody ever come to you and say, I'd like to want you to uh, put a mural on a, or mm, a mural? Not a your... mural. Those those are graffiti artists. We know a few that we can recommend, and, and we can easily do that for businesses. We can find uh, recommendations uh, also. I mean, like, so. but you have to find an owner that will allow you to paint that mural on um, the usually if the business owner like uh, I know the liberation room in downtown Stockton they just um, the owner had a whole bunch of art commissioned on his building and it looks really awesome but it really comes down to the business owner if they want a mural on the building but if they were looking for any artists they can contact us and we can we'll do the work and try and figure out who we can recommend well, see, to them so, know, it's a, it's yeah and we <laughs> we like to we like to provide as much free advice as we can to businesses because if it helps the business stay in business and grow then it makes us feel good that we help them and then hopefully they'll consider any of our services uh, that's good in the future. i mean that's wonderful <laughs> i think mean, that's something that's another thing that's an outlet from what Finkis and fish wrote okay mm -hmm. so you do both of those type of mm -hmm. pr uh, service in that way, you know? Yeah. So have you, are, are you guys are online or are you on Facebook? Uh, yeah, or? we're on, a, so you can find us online at uh, roadfinch.com or if you'd like to use our search engine, uh, finchit.com. And uh, we're also, you can find us on Facebook at Roadfinch or at finchitco, uh, Instagram and Twitter as well on, on the same tags. Oh, wow. So that's a lot. Of, that's a lot. Of, that's a lot of. See, that's yeah. a lot of things to help help your organization, help your marketing yourself. And uh, I think it's a tremendous. Job. I think I'm gonna sign up for this. You Ooh. know, I think I <laughs> we're excited. To have something going on. I just got a job like two weeks ago, and already people are asking me, Doug, can you help me find a, a house?" I'm like, "Well, I've been started two. I went back to my old job. You mm -hmm. know, I was I was working for a property manager for like 14 years. You know." And I took a I, I took a, a, a leave of absence for a while, and so I didn't. But so with a lot of things prior to my child, and I said, you know, 
let's, let's, let's start, let's go back. I'm going to say, you know, I have, still have my real estate license. Why, why am I keeping you every year, every four years? Mm -hmm. So finally I went back and I got my own back. I got all job back, hmm. you know, which I love doing. <laughs> so, uh, so now, so now I'm trying to, um, get started now I, now everything started changing the same people that were there are no longer there so I'm trying to find my what I should do and what not not to do and mm -hmm. just trying to work on it and people are already <laughs> asking me well, I, I need a house I need this I need that you know I'm like well I just started two weeks ago and I'm not yeah. I'm not getting all my, my, <laughs> that, my that's stuff that's the fun ever, part you so, know yeah. I'm just starting this stuff and I'm already I'm overwhelmed already hmm. and but I'm, 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 I'm on a different board and everything so it's really very busy for me at the time once once I get everything straightening out, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But um, that's something that I, I, I'm i taking, I'm taking that uh, challenge as, as far as getting more business. My business wants want more owner, mm -hmm. owner to rent out because nowadays there's no houses to rent out. Yeah. And the people, and two years ago with a lot, a lot mm -hmm. of people who were selling the house, so they're their uh, what do you call it? Their inventory, their the money they sold, and it was a good year for two, 2017, 2016. It was a good year for them to sell it, you know. Hmm. So now everybody owns houses, but yeah, nobody, nobody's not rent, not renting it out, you know. Mm -hmm. So, so that's what, and that's what I'm trying to do is trying to market myself, you know. And I, 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 people already right know once you want to have to do my life right away. I got a lot of marketing calling me. You know? mm -hmm. Yeah, and you you'll get a lot of them, especially if you put yourself out there as a new business. They every company is going to contact you to sell you their services, and, and that's the thing. It comes down to who provides the better service. Uh -huh. But at the end of the day, I think a lot of businesses out there want to provide. But more um, exposure. Yeah, that's what they want. I think there's more like more focus, more exposure on your service because it's like that. They kind of overlap. Yeah. So the, the more you expose, overlap the other person, you have, it's all all money. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, if you give me a, 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 a you say like for example, nine ninety nine a month, and somebody else is, is in the same business as I am, mm -hmm. and I'm saying, okay, well, and then another person, so uh, so how many, so how many match his offer? And so I'm gonna say, okay, then I'm gonna search engine, they're gonna have to put me on the top of the list, and mm -hmm. that's how they do. They put you, they they bid money after bid, 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 a uh, higher, who oh, gonna be higher than it. Mm -hmm. uh, when, when you type in, your name is on the first search. Yeah. Not on the third. Not a lot of those fourth. you gotta pay to be able to get up, but there's a lot of ways you can get um, organically. You can get higher in those searches. Uh, we do SEO also, so we understand. You hear that? <laughs> you hear that guy? This is, you need to talk to this guy, you know? This guy is really good. You know, information, that's the value about having information mm -hmm. about this because a lot of people, can't cannot afford to live by their means. Yeah. Know, because they, they live on commission. They live on uh, putting money into what their business is, and that's their livelihood. And then when they put money into a, a marketing, that totally take advantage of that situation. Mm. Like, okay, who's gonna who's gonna pay us more to advertise more, and what's gonna be on list? You know. And to yeah. me, Yelp was doing that to me. He mm. said, "Well, if you give us a hundred, uh, fifty dollars a month." Uh, Fifty nine ninety nine for a month, one month. Mm -hmm. We'll put you on top of the lid, and then we're gonna remove this girl lady down. Yeah. We're gonna push her down. <laughs> so, so it's like, well, what if this lady gonna do the same thing? Gonna yeah, and it gets down? you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's like a double standard, you know? Yeah. Like, I, what would I should I trust them taking my business somewhere? You know? Mm -hmm. So I, and that's why I was trying to when when I, when Edward was telling me about. You guys, you know, mm -hmm. like you're like Yelp. I'm like, <laughs> we're we are similar to Yelp that we want to have reviews, but that's probably the only close similarity that we have. Right. We've we've looked at Yelp's platform and we see their thousands Negative. of They're bad. Yeah. I don't like that. I don't like Yelp. Believe me, Yelp is really not that big a deal because I you know there are other uh, other platform that people go to also like different organizations different um like let's what the other want to call them there's duck to go um uh it's a what's it called that uh four four square uh i haven't used that one that one's not familiar to me yeah four square i've heard of it yeah four square is the same thing too you know they go and you rich and they have food and they this and that i go and then they keep coming to me and my name is up there but 
they they tell you where you, oh they know where you're at yeah they say oh you went to this place can you give us can you give us a rating for this place and sometimes I don't want to do it you know because I and sometimes I went on I wouldn't even or I go by mm. a, a restaurant and they said you were there I'm like no I wasn't there <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I did go to me I'm like no mm. okay but anyway but you know what thank you i think it's time it's out <laughs> anyway so thank you Robert, but uh, but thank you um oh pedro <laughs> pedro for coming so much i no got problem. so much thank fun you for having I, 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 we can ask a lot of questions but <laughs> no uh, worries but anyway hopefully he come back again yeah See thank you so much for having me on your good. show yeah definitely so thank you pedro for everything yeah, and i definitely. hope i you know get the chance to um uh, people to understand where you're coming from and hope okay. you get some business and get some um, sign up you know as far as yeah I know thank you so much for letting me talk about Finch it and Road Finch yeah so there's the two different kinds of Road Finch okay Road Finch <laughs> Road Finch and uh, Finch Finch it Finch yeah. okay <laughs> alright thank you and have a great day thank you for watching the The right, Show and the Voice <laughs> of Stockton 19.1 that have that wonderful Monday afternoon take care have a Monday everyone <laughs> <laughs>